care va face un tur complet al insulei. În fiecare punct de oprire stă 15 minute ca să pot să vizitez fiecare punct turistic. Aici e portul. Kironin, Kironin is the name of the main village we're going into here. They call it Kironin. Uh, Kironin is the town of the island. There's one grocery store in Kironin and uh, three or four craft shops. Now, one grocery store in the whole island here in the main village. Everybody has to come into the main village here to go to the one shop, one shop uh, on the island. Ați auzit șoferul și ghidul vorbea engleză. Dacă ați înțeles ceva. Când ne întoarcem, să-mi facem și mie traducerea. Pub here to the right, there's seven, seven pubs on the island, seven pubs, one of them here to the right. So up to the left here, church, uh, three Catholic churches, three Catholic churches on the island, one of them up to the left here. So I won't grow this door down to the right here, you can see Spa, Spa supermarket. So that's the only grocery store that's on the island. Left here, uh, Bureau de Change and a post office, the post office here uh, to the left. And uh, coming up to the left here, usually some chickens with no sign of them today. They're sometimes lined up on the wall there. Only one there. Down to the right here, a heritage centre, renovating it at the moment. To the right is Wild Road, so we know Protestant Church. Protestant Church to the right. To the left is the bank. Bank open uh, two days. Two days a week in the summertime, one day a week in the winter time. So that's for the main <laughs> So the only trees, the only trees on the island around this area, the only trees, when we get up higher, there's no depth in the ground, we don't uh, survive, so these are the only trees. The left here, another pub, Joe Wati, Joe Wati, they call this pub here uh, to the left. So roughly about 10, uh, 10 B&B, 10 bed and breakfast on the island, one small hotel. Și singurii copaci de pe insulă sunt School, uh, school to the right here, school, a technical school, or a high school, technical school here to the right, about 70 pupils. 70 pupils going to the technical school. 17 copii sunt la școală, aici, pe insulă. So the area of the island, 9 miles long, 9 miles long, 3 miles wide. That's the area of the island. Population of the island, about uh, 800 people. A lot of these stone walls, they say there's 7,000 miles of stone wall on the island. Don't know who counted them now, but that's what the book says. But there is a lot of stone walls. They're there for boundary walls. Mary's for the stone walls are for boundary walls. So of course the Kunimara. The Kunimara coast in out to the right. That's where he came in across from. It's about uh, six miles. Six miles from land to land. And the, the way the boat goes, it's about 12 miles. Because it goes from uh, pier to pier. And out to the right, the mountains are 12 pins. 12 pins of Kunimara would be out to the right. Near the mountains are 12 pins. The left here are hostel. There are uh, three, three hostel on the island. Three hostels. So rock itself, all limestone. Limestone rock, same rock that's in the Burren, in uh, County Clare. Kunimara. Kunimara, it's different rock. It's mostly granite rock in uh, Kunimara. So this is limestone like the burn. To the left here, uh, just after building an old people's home up to the left. Before now, the older people needed care of a nursing home, they'd have to go to the mainland. Now, they just have to build this building here uh, to the left, so they don't need to go to the mainland anymore. It's very hard on the older people. People that live on the island all their life and they leave the island. I get to follow the lot of money locally and then they build that building there we passed. <coughs> Monuments to the right here uh, for people that were lost at sea, remember markers. Date back to the 18th century, these monuments to the right. People got across to the mainland in poor boats, they remember to the right here. And uh, they date back to the 18th uh, century. And uh, up to the left here, runs of an old fort, runs of an old fort up to the left, and an old lighthouse. Lighthouse beside it, and look up. Uh, there are two, two land forts on the island and two cliff forts. So we're heading for the main cliff fort, that would be Dune Ingsa. But uh, they call the fort up to the left, they call it Dune Ohola. Dune Ohola they call it. And uh, 
the name of the village here they call it Ochal and Ochal means higher up, a little bit higher up than the other villages and uh, the four date back to BC before Christ the lighthouse it was built in 18 something uh, it was more of a lighthouse, uh, more of a lookout point than a lighthouse because uh, it's too far inland now 14 villages anyway now all on the island, 14 different names that's the way the island is divided up here another church, another Catholic church here uh, to the left and the other church not too far from the end of the island. So there are three three Catholic churches in all on the island. Uh, lake down to the right, lake, freshwater lake, four freshwater lakes on the island. One of them down to the right there. Uh, up to the left after the church a few touch cottages, a few touch houses up to the left. A lot of them are going out, but a lot to work on them. It's a they have to be retouched every two years, these uh, old thatch cottages. There are some of the first houses to be on the island.